So how does this all fit into the context of programming in Perl? In Perl, we store our procedures in subroutines. A subroutine is like a set of actions that we can call from any point within our program, provided we've defined it beforehand. And we can pass whatever parameters or arguments we want to the subroutine, and then it will act in slightly different ways. You'll be familiar with functions such as the open functions, which allows us to open a file handle. And the open function takes two arguments. These we can enclose in brackets if we want, or we can leave them out in the majority of cases too. A subroutine is like a user-defined function. We create them ourselves, and we decide what goes on in them, what they'll do, and what arguments they'll take. So for instance, we could have a call to a subroutine which goes something like make cuppa tea, no milk, and one sugar. Now in order for Perl to make any sense of this, we have to have defined already what our make cuppa subroutine does. To do this, we can use a keyword called sub. After the keyword sub, we put the name of the subroutine that we're creating, make cuppa in this case, and then we enclose all the functionality of the subroutine within curly brackets. For instance, here is a very simple subroutine here. Now at the moment, it's not doing anything with the arguments that we're passing to it, but it allows us to carry out the print function with a certain string without referring explicitly to it. Let's see what happens when we run our Perl script here. Although we haven't specifically told Perl to print here's a cup in the program, by calling to the make cuppa function, we've been able to invoke that particular block here in which that print function was carried out. If we want to use arguments within our functions, we have to access them via an array. And this is a special array that we don't have to define. This array is the at sign underscore array. Let's have a look at how we can use the arguments array by running it through a for each loop. And we can specify the particular argument that we're on by using the default scalar variable there. Now when we move to our command line, we can see that each of the arguments that we passed to make cuppa, t, 0, and 1, are now accessible through the arguments array.